there really isn't anything like the Warfighter Lab out in academia or in the military labs today. It's hard to understand what it can do because people are wowed by the technology. The data that we can collect and the design decisions that we can make based on that data, I have never had access to in my life. Galveon is a collection of passionate people that come together every day and are committed to really carrying out our vision. And that vision is providing the most demanding tactical and military teams with innovation and advanced technology solutions that give them the ability to go and do something beyond what they ever thought was possible. We started this 15 years ago, really buying into the idea that helmets were about to move from a protective product, something that just sits there and gets hit, to something that's survivable and lethal, something that allows you to see in the dark, to communicate, to use modern equipment like head-up displays, sensors, emitters, and computation on the helmet. Once you incorporate all of this additional extra technology, you need new tools in your toolbox to be able to conceptualize what you want to build, to then develop it, to go through developmental spirals, to hone it to perfection, to make sure it delivers that operational effect. And that's where the Warfighter Lab comes in. The Warfighter Lab is a purpose-built, scientifically driven lab full of state-of-the-art, custom-designed equipment that helps us measure and record performance for the elite end users within the military and law enforcement community. Whether it's software, hardware, we can print 3D prototypes, bring it into the lab, test it that day, get feedback that day, implement a design change, and retest it the next day. It's unprecedented. The Warfighter Lab is designed to get scientific results that we can compare and actually tweak to the decimal point based on actual performance in use. So for our designers and human factors engineers, they can take that information and tweak our products, figure out how they might have better attachment systems, how we can reduce the weight, uh, the center of gravity might need to be moved uh, around the head, for example. All these things that before now were just subjective comments. Now we have it digitally captured. We have all the data to prove it. And really that's the genesis of active protection is trying to ensure that everything a soldier carries and wears is integrated, is lightweight, and is improving their survivability. We make heavy use of virtual reality. Through virtual reality, you can iterate very quickly through the testing process. Getting that end user feedback, getting systems on operators, getting the operational testing done is always a challenge when you're doing product development in this space. And especially when we start talking about heads up display and all the information that you can get from the digital battlefield, you can start to mock that up in VR. You can move around a configurable shoot house. You can start to see the impacts of that before you ever spend time actually putting it into a system. So you're saving time and money there just by putting it in VR first. We can increase the cognitive load and we can see how advances in software, in graphics, in AR, VR, uh, in button presses, uh, and even simple menu systems can actually reduce that cognitive load to enable us to focus on the mission instead of trying to operate the equipment. Someone can say, I feel like this is more effective, Actually, you, not only do you feel it, but I can see it, and here's the data that shows me why. To do what we do here, uniquely different than anything I've ever seen in industry, where we're overlaying virtual reality with physical elements in a shoot house, or somebody jumping over obstacles, or getting into a prone position to shoot. Now you're bringing in the whole human element into our design, and that's exactly why this Warfighter Lab was designed. Getting out in the field, that takes a lot of planning. Having this here lets us do trials a lot faster, get that design cycle flowing faster, because it's really about getting that feedback as fast as we can, getting that back into those designs, and building the best products that we can. We are building systems for the end user. How that fits, how that feels, how that's carried, how much it weighs is all very important. Of all the possibilities, we zero in on the ones that are going to increase performance in terms of survivability and lethality. We need to make sure that the way the warfighter uses the system and the way they integrate together is reflective of what's going to happen on the field when the bullets are flying. And the only way to do that is through rigorous scientific testing. 
The Warfighter Lab fits perfectly with the Galvian mission because our focus is on the soldier, on the person, not on products. It's about bringing it all together and making sure that everything works together for the benefit of the user. As things get more advanced and technology gets more complex, you have to be able to put it into a scenario where you can test that. Advanced design, very important. End user feedback, extremely important. And intelligent integration. Well, if you look at the Warfighter Lab, that touches all three of those elements.